Ahoy! Ahoy. Yeah. Why ahoy? Ahoy means hello in Czech. Yeah, because we're traveling again. And today we are traveling to... Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. And the capital of the Czech Republic is... Prague. 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 What do you know about Czech Republic? Let me think. <laughs> well... What's with that silly helmet? <laughs> The national sport in the Czech Republic is ice hockey. <laughs> it's not the hockey helmet. Yeah? Does it really matter? It's a helmet. You've got the point. <coughs> <coughs> we'll show you what you can do if you only have one day in Prague. One day is very little time. What were we thinking? For a short Segway ride, it is enough. Yes, but you're not allowed by Segway in the old town. And for seeing the best of Prague, all you need is a comfortable pair of shoes. Let's start in the old town square. Staromestske namesti. Where there is a lot of delicious street food. Awfully expensive. And many street artists. Yeah, they're nice, but... Not really representative for Prague. I mean, they are in pretty much every touristic city, aren't they? After checking the clock tower, you can taste the famous Czech beer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Speaking of, did you know that the Czechs are the world's biggest beer drinkers? Really? Mm -hmm, indeed. Over 150 liters beer per capita in one year. I do wonder what would happen if I would drink so much. <laughs> what is unique and impressive in Prague is... The architecture. You can get lost in the narrow streets, taking pictures and checking the little colorful shops. Colorful shops. Some things are really traditional Czech stuff, but others only tourist chunk like the Russian wooden Matryoshka souvenirs with the faces of football stars and American presidents painted on them. I mean, come on! All roads lead to Rome, they say. And the Rome of Prague is the Charles Bridge. Prague is called the city of thousand spires. Well, thousand will be way too much for only one day, so what about sticking to only one? The Old Town Bridge Tower. You will need to climb how many? Uh, 138 stairs, Whoa. but you will be rewarded with a magnificent view. The famous bridge got his name from the King Charles IV. And because the Holy Roman Emperor was a fan of numerology, the first stone of the bridge was laid at 531 on the 9th of July 1357. What? Got it? 1357, 9th of the 7th month, time 531. Oh, come on, forget about numbers and better check out the romantic atmosphere of the bridge. Yeah, yeah, the bridge with the beautiful statues. But you know, the statues have been replaced by replicas. The original ones are in a museum. Over the bridge you will get to Malastrana, the little side. Small part of town with old cars, adorable buildings and shops which are trying every possible trick only to get the tourists inside. <laughs> Guess what? I found pot! Well, at least in the theory. It's a can of cannabis tea. And how does it taste? Oh, come on! Like tea! From here it is easy to climb to the castle. A Guinness World Record holder as the biggest castle in the world. And. A tip for you, don't miss the castle guard change. After the 1989 revolution, the new Czech president, Václav Havel, did not have the money for the lightning system for the Prague castle. So he was financed by the famous group Rolling Stones. 
<laughs> I think Mike Jagger had some change to spare, like $32,000 or something. I'm a big, big girl in a big, big castle. Nice the thousand-year-old castle, but so many tourists. Yeah, sure it is. Bear in mind that the uh, Czech capital has only 1.2 million inhabitants, but is visited by over 6 million people every year. Still, it's nice and not very expensive. It's late in the afternoon and the sun already hides behind St. Vitus Cathedral. We must hurry back to the old town. Cut the crap, baby! Let's get that segue! Yeah, but price is starting at 40 euros for an hour. Hmm. This handlebar, you don't push it or pull it. It's okay. No, 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 no. Relax, listen to me. You're not gonna fall down. Okay. okay. I'm just doing so you can uh, understand and maybe a little bit feel the second. To do it like this, you're not gonna fall down. But it's just not correct. So, and that's why people started to be scared. If you are still virgins in riding the Segway, Prague might not be the best place to lose your virginity. That is because it's more expensive than other places. And sadly, you are not allowed with this evil device in the old town. You will be taken to the Strachov Hill, which is also nice. But has a kind of out of the old town atmosphere. Then it's up to your guide to make you feel great. We were lucky to get a very funny young guide with Russian origins who told us everything beginning with who the grandmother of oh, King yeah. Charles was and ending with where in Prague we can buy forbidden stuff. The most unlikely event of us wanting something like that. Segway is really cool and well worth a try. So cool that after a few minutes we didn't feel the rain anymore. The road leads to the Strachov Monastery. An old beer brewery with a beautiful view over Prague. Legend says that in the Middle Age, in the time of plague, the monks rescued a lot of human lives. By giving the population beer instead of the infested water? Exactly. Hmm. Delicious. Always dreamed of getting a Thai massage in form of being bitten by fishes in a store window. It's getting dark. And we are getting hungry. Tourist rule number one. Always carry TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. <laughs> Always carry TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. <laughs> <laughs> Always carry TripAdvisor. <laughs> or stick to what you know. Cheap and tasty. Grilled sausage. Every time a hunger killer. And if you are on low carb diet, be sure to try this hot chimney cake. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, very funny. Something new in Prague. And we are still arguing about whether it was worth or not the 10 euros for the entrance ticket. Is the... Sex Machines Museum. Right at the entrance there is a chair where you can test how hot you are. And guess what? I am very hot. But my wife turned out to be the Ice Princess. Uh -huh. <laughs> what have we got here? Weird machines? Rather torture giving than pleasure giving. It's the first time I'm seeing a mechanical finger. I wonder what's the use of it. For the long winter nights, we recommend you an original form of entertainment. Blacklight theater. It's the show you've often seen on Britain's Got Talent, where weird forms and colors are doing their magic on a dark stage. Worth the money? I'd say yes. 
Oh no, is the day already gone? Yeah, and this week's episode of our vlog too.